around us, the poor, the needy. It's impossible. You, we cannot, we, we can turn the TV on, we can do anything. It's all around us. So I'm going to give a little bit of a background of the scripture here. First, the, the nations are gathered before God for judgment in this scripture. So we're all gathered here before God for judgment. Christ is somehow hidden in each one of these. Each, in each one of these things, Christ is somehow hidden in the poor, and neither the person that helps them nor the pe person that ignores him are able to recognize him. But the most striking thing to me in this passage is that judgment is based solely on the people's response to the poor, the naked, the hungry, the sick, and the, the imprisoned, the, the least of these. Some versions of the Bible says the least of these. Or the, the world's view of these people, because these people don't look like us, because they don't smell like us, because they have addictions, they have, they have issues going on in our own lives. You know, we all have issues going on in our lives. Some are just more visible. So when I was going through school, I was asked to go out and do a paper one time on how Jesus would look at people. First of all, I had to go to a mall on a on a Friday night, and I had to do I, before they even told me to look at it the way God looked at it. I had to. This was like in the first part of the semester. I had to go. And, and view people and just write down what I thought of them. What was, what was I seeing? So I wrote my paper on that and I was really honest on how I saw people. The second part of that was I had to go in the next semester and go and look at people the way Jesus would look at them. And it hurt. Because I reviewed the paper that I had from the first time to the second time. And I thought, wow. How could I think like that? How could I look at somebody like that? Because we're to look at, to look at people the way Jesus looks at them. We're not to look at them the way the world looks at them. We're not to look at them because they're wrapped up in... Drugs, alcohol, prostitution. We work with all these people out on the streets on a daily basis. And it's changed our lives on how we look at them. You know, we visit them in jail. We visit them in the hospital. Do we condone what they're doing? Absolutely not. But we still love them the way Jesus loves them. 